Motherfucking pop up, bro. We out here in Tempe, sitting with Sir Will. We got La Fina. We, ah. I'll save you, La Fina. Get our podcast right here. <laughs> you know, and we up. got Sir Will on the side. Our main guest, one of our headliners coming up. Shit. Yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I'm happy to be here. This is a clean little setup, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, we appreciate that. You've seen all the work we put into the game. Can I introduce myself? I mean, the Von Rebel show in the building, too, but shit. Yeah, man. What's up, Sir Will? (laughs) (laughs) What up, man? I appreciate both of y'all for real, for real. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm just happy, you know, to be in a great environment. You feel me? Okay, okay. Hey, yo, before I be started off, too, um, I want to shout out to House of Frutas. You know what I'm saying? They got the TNC products here, bro. They got the edible, man, all types of stuff, man. Get some hats, some T-shirts. So I want to tap into you, man, because I've been seeing you everywhere. But it's like, I really want to how did you even get into this? How you get your foot in the door? Man, it's just, you know, hard work, grinding, dedication, man, just really networking, you know? So... Um, coming out here from Cali and just kind of having that, that that grind, doing it out there, and then coming into a new environment, you just got to kind of, to get your foot in the door, you just got to kind of network with the, the people that's, you know, making moves out here. And that's kind of how, you know, I've been moving around, just, you know, knowing the people behind the scenes, which has been most important, you know what I mean? Are you independent, bro? Yeah, man. Indy, you, you see my you see my team I come in yeah, with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got uh, Tony Renee, best manager in the game. It's not even close. Um, and I got my, my uh, nephew, uh, D. He's been, you know, all the content I've been shooting, the, the little videos I've been doing, the reels. He's doing all the video stuff behind the scenes. It's like family first. And we're just doing it all independent. You know, I've, I've had a lot of opportunities with some with some majors and stuff right now, but they're yeah. not talking the way I want them to Ooh, talk. So, talk that money, I, I'm, <laughs> you know, we so doing it how we doing it. from some labels? Yeah, man. We've had some meetings. We've had some conversations. Um, you know, some big artists in the game have reached out, and you know, people. You know, I'm just. I'm not gonna just name drop, put them on the spot, but you know, we've had conversations with some good names. But you know, right now, I think we got a vision, and we kind of been doing it our way. I respect that. I respect that. They just, they just ain't speaking your language at the moment. Nah, you know, at the end of the day, too, um, like uh, so many people have said before in the past, it's hard to kind of try to sign to an artist that's still trying to do stuff on their own, you know? Yeah. So it's right. like I want to be the, the, the center of attention in, in what we got going on, you know? When, when my manager wake up um, and she's thinking about what moves we going to make, she's thinking about Sir Will. You know, when my nephew is thinking about what he's doing, he's thinking about how can I make Sir Will look. Yeah. You know, so it's not just me. Mm-hmm. So I can't, you know, be in a situation where I'm behind somebody who, when they wake up, they're thinking about themselves. Yeah. So I, I can't do that. So right now, we we moving how we moving. Okay. So is it is it hard for you? What's behind the grind? Like, what's the the obstacles that you got to go through to really get to where you want to be? Um, the biggest obstacles is just kind of moving with the times. Like, right? You know what I mean? Before it was like you a dope artist, you a hot artist, you make good music, and that's what it was about. Right. Now it's about what's your brand like? What's your TikTok views? What's your Instagram views? So it's kind of like navigating with all, how all these, how the music changes so much. Yeah. Right, and right. that's the hard part because it changes so quick that you can be on one wave and then yeah. you try to jump on that wave and then that wave is gone. Yeah. So what we've been doing is like, what can we consistently do for our own wave? You know what I mean? Like, what you looking at me and you're looking at what you getting out of Sir Will, not what I'm trying to keep up with, some kind of trend. So it's like I'm not trying to keep up with how music sounds right Mm -hmm. now. I'm not trying to keep up with the trends. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I love to do, and that's what's kind of keeping me on the right path. Okay. Okay, okay. Shit. Also, at the same time, I see you put out a new single, bro. You know, <laughs> you talking, you talking hey. some love. Hold on, yeah, hold yeah. on. Hey, I want to shout out Sir Will. I said, man, Sir Will taking all your hoes, bro. I ain't <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Man, ain't talking like that no more. I saw man, that. that. Hey, I'm st- hey, we need that in the community. I saw bro. that. I saw that, bro. It was a complete switch up from what you normally do. Thank you. You know, you over here lifting weights. Yeah, you over here pushing weights. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, and. What was your thought process behind dropping like a new single like that? See, the thing is, that's why it's a, it's a team effort. Yeah. You know, um, we've had a bunch of meetings with like different execs. With we've been in rooms with you know platinum producers and big A and R's, things like that. And they need to see how well rounded you are. So again, when I say team effort, my manager was like, "Okay, we need to hit them with something a little more soft." You know what I'm saying? Something a little more for the ladies to sing along yeah, with, yeah, because yeah. she hears me all the time. She hears the, the range that I have when it comes to music, so she already knows what I can do. But the rest of the world don't. 
So okay. she's like, okay, let's hit them with a little something different on right, this right. go around and show them like, okay, it's not just West Coast. It's not just hard rap. Like you, you have so many different elements. I got yeah. a daughter, you know what I mean? Yeah, I have yeah, a soft yeah. side. Okay, so you got okay. so many different elements that you can tap into. So that was kind of the mindset. It, everything we doing is on purpose. Okay, okay. I feel like too, bro. Appreciate it. Let's switch up. Appreciate yeah. it for real. I, I'm gonna this. I'm gonna admit this, man. When I listen to that song, bro, I played that shit like twice back to back. I said, <laughs> man, I was vibing to it because I was at the crib. I'm looking like, okay, I see what he's doing out Appreciate here. Appreciate it. Okay, so what, what's some next things that you want to like tap into as far as like genre wise? Yeah, like um, we like right now. I got a shout out to my girl True Vaughn. I've known her forever, and um, she. If you don't know who she is, she's a talent. Like she's so dope, her style, everything about her is different. You gotta, you know, like I said, tap into Truvon, and she's very heavy in the, in the doing things for TV shows, things like that. Okay. So we just we just did a record together that's like straight movie, like it's for a movie, it's for that that gritty part of the movie where you know you down on your your last dollar, you yeah, need some yeah, motivation, yeah. like, and it's a soul, it's a it's just motivating sound, and that's the you know I like to tap into that stuff. Right. Um, I got a record with. Um, 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 Res Coast Grizz, um, who he's his style is so different than mine. We got a you know something for the ladies. It's like you okay. know what I mean. Like I like to tap into so much stuff. I got man, I got this Disney record in the cut that I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got you push that at Disney. We go, you know what I mean? So it's like I'm That's not. Funny, I don't want to be in the box. Like it, I'm not trying to be Sir Will the West Coast artist. Like I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to do what, everything that I can, but in in the in the right way. Yeah. You know, some people step outside and yeah. you're like, ah, that ain't, ain't it. it. You know yeah, what I mean? So I, I'm blessed to have people around me that's going to keep it a stack and tell me, nah, that ain't the one. You know what I mean? I mean, at the end of the day, you always need people around you that are going to check you. You feel me? Facts. It's, it's yeah. always better than having just yes men around you and people that are always like never saying that any of your shit is bad or letting you put out. Yes. Facts, you feel me? I think it's important to always have a good structure of a team. 100%. That's just, just truthful with you. American have Idol. Ever, have they ever uh, told you that your shit was whack, bro? No, like, like so it, it's never been Be that honest, it was. Have they said that? No, it's never been that it was <laughs> whack. It's it's always been. Let me take my glasses off right here. You know what I mean? I want the people to see me. Um, it's never been that it was whack. It's been um, you can do it better. Okay. Like, oh, I I see where you're going. You can do it better. Like the the We Alive record. Yeah. If I let you hear in my voice notes right now, it was done ten different ways. Oh shit. Okay. Because I'm sending it to my manager Tony, and she's like, nah, uh, uh. That I see it, no, nah, but that ain't it. Okay. No, that ain't it. Oh, ooh, yeah, let's. And then I have an engineer too. Uh, shout out to um, Andre. He, he's a dope engineer. He engineers for oh, a lot boy. of people, and he even is like that. He's yeah. he's with me to where it's like he's comfortable saying, okay. "I think you could do this better. I think you do it better." So it's never like it's whack. It's more like I get what you're doing, but you can emphasis or your energy. Here, here's an energy drink, like something. Yeah, like yeah. it's not what we know you can do. It's okay. more like that kind of criticism. Constructive criticism. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. I like that, man. I like that. And then it's like, what what advice would you get to somebody like actually that's trying to be in your shoes? Because you're an inspiration, bro. Like, you, I, pre I you, appreciate that. You, you speaking to so many different angles, like black a black person, a male, like you know, black male. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. So like, what advice would you give? Like that's and, and that's a real real talk of of why I wanted to link with him. I have a strong background Hispanic community as oh, well. Oh, okay. Like I'm from Compton. This is nothing but black in, in, in Hispanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's how I roll and I and I give advice to blacks, Mexicans, it doesn't matter. They hit my line and like, you know what I mean? Shout out to AST, that's my guy. Like he, he's strong out here in Mesa. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is this is what I do. So my advice I would give to them is like just don't do it. Try to do it by yourself. Like get a team. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we it's too hard to be trying to wear every hat on your own. It's a it, tough job. It, it's a tough. Like so the great thing that I have is I have my manager, I have my nephew, and they tell me, focus on the music. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Like, okay, you you do this. I'm going to take care of this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Definitely. and it takes the weight off for me just to be a creative. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the best advice that I can give you is like, start thinking about the people who really believe in you yeah. and who really want to see you win and mm -hmm. connect with those people. And like, you, it's, it's a winning method. See, because at the end of the day, like when you have a team around you, that lets you focus on music. That lets you 100%. be the creative that you're supposed to be at. 100%. Playing this artist, you feel me? And that's what's so important about having that team. Like, yeah. Even me, like, I run a podcast. I have a team. Exactly. You know I, mean? I have people that are always, like, 
always on top of things that I can't do or I can't get to sometimes. Yeah, the funny part about having a team, too, is when uh, somebody reach out to your team and they ask to do something to your team, like, hell no, he ain't doing that. Yeah. And then you yeah, see yeah. them in person, they looking at you sideways. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, yeah. bro, I ain't even talk to you. <laughs> it's like, man, I ain't do like, nothing. They, they in the corner like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, nah, he, nope. But it's cool because I don't even have to be the one to give people that news. Right. Like, just like my manager, like, uh, somebody reached out, but uh, it's, it's not your speed. She knows, like, somebody that's around you gotta know you who you are more than yourself too right like and then they can go ahead and weed out those things that they don't think is a good look for you you feel me i come to the table and i'm like hey this is what we should do and, and you're not gonna always agree you it's it's, it's human nature yeah. there's some takes that i've done in the studio and i look at my manager that's the one she look at me like no it's not i'm like listen <laughs> this is the one you know what i mean yeah. but right. you got to be able to take that constructive criticism you can't do it by yourself mm, i feel that i feel that Okay. All right, all right. So look, on another note, man, on another note, it's just like, what has been the biggest, your biggest accomplishment in your career right now? Whew. Um, I would say I'm going to just go with the biggest performance. Um, I got to open up for the baby and Nardo Wick. What? Um, I got to open up for them uh, in, in South Padre Island, Texas. If you ain't heard of it, it's just literally a, just an island and just, and it's like a dope, like, beach scene. Um, where they throw big shows and um, I had the opportunity to open up and that was like the biggest crowd I was in front of like we had two shows the daytime show was well about 5,000 people and then the nighttime show was about six seven thousand and in the dopest thing that I ever seen in my life as far as from my own career mm -hmm. um, I had there was a guy that added me in the story of watching me perform and he was so far back that you couldn't even see me on stage. What? But he was rocking with me like, man, this Sir Will dude is hard. Yeah. And for me to have a fan that I touched that can't even really see me, I mean, the video was so blurry. Yeah. Like, and um, that was just a moment, and I'm happy my manager and my, and my nephew were like, hey, let's reach out to this person and go get a picture with them, give them a shirt or whatever the case may be, love, and let's bro, go yeah. find them. Like, that, that moment changed my career of, like, like I already knew this is what I wanted to do, but that moment was like, if I can rock somebody from way, from way there. back there, I'm I'm doing what God told me to do. I feel it, bro. I feel okay. it, and that's okay. genuine as fuck too. Yeah, if I yeah. Go out of your way to do that, you probably made that motherfucker's day. Oh yeah, man. He hits me up on you know we have random conversations every now and then um, on Instagram. It's just you know what I mean, just that kind of love like that. That won't that he don't know how much that changed my life. Like yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. That's a shit right. J Cole talk about. Yeah, I, I love like him. my favorite artist. I like that you um that you love and support your your supporters. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So it's just like when you out there and you you doing this for for you. I know for sure. Yeah, yeah. You doing this for other people too to touch other people. But it's like hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like, how important are your supporters for you? You feel me? Like, um, I I love that. You know what I mean? It's kind of like I remember when I was in in high school and my brother. No, let's take it back to, to middle school. Yeah. And my brother had let me hear artists I've never heard of. And then I can go around my school and be like, man, I was the first one up on him. <laughs> like, I was the first one that, uh, pause. I forgot I got to do that pause. First one up on him, pause. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I was, I, I love that feeling. So my supporters, yeah. I love how they can be like, you know, I was up on Sleeping Giant. You know what I mean? Or I was up on this record yeah. way back when. You know, that kind of stuff and having those supporters really, like, Goes a long come, way. come with you from the trenches. Yeah. So I'm no, you know, 10 years from now when I'm yeah. hopefully the biggest I've ever been, I can have those conversations with those people that's like, man, I used to play Sleeping Giant or I used to play Wait Up or whatever the case may be when you first came out. That, that stuff right there means the world. Okay, okay. I got a question for you, too. What's next for Sir Will? Uh, right what now, like... We we running up content. We trying to drop these these videos, these freestyle videos on your neck. You know what I mean? So you can just see my range of like the different kind of records, man. I got a a, a, a freestyle joint. I ain't gonna say what it is, but it's dropping next Friday. Okay. And it's a it's a queen it's a queen anthem. It's for the women. It's a it's an anthem big enough females because I have a daughter myself. Yeah. So I hope one day she looks back at it and be like, oh my 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 dad was rapping like this. So it's one of those, and I want to keep, you know, showing people that kind of, you know, that what I can do as far as my versatility. And then we're going to drop the mixtape called The Switch Up. The Switch Up. Um, and, and it's great that you brought it up about 
um, my single We Alive being so different from all my other records because that's what the mixtape is about. Yeah. It's called the switch up because it's different. It's going to be different records okay. that you're not expecting from me. Yeah. So the whole mixtape is based off of, you know what I mean, just a different style than what you just been hearing from me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got some big names on there. I got my boy Real Kyrie on there, Richie Evans on there, um, which is my guy. I got uh, Zaytoven. You know, okay, Zaytoven, yeah, yeah. Platinum, you know, you know, you know who yeah, Zaytoven yeah. is. Um, we, we got some 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 dope stuff and some dope artists on there. And it's you know what I mean? That's going to.